I am Nye, your neighborhood friendly esthetician. Welcome back to the Golden Prescription. Um, and today I'm going to talk to you about whether your dairy intake is sabotaging your skincare goals. The answer is probably yes. If it wasn't yes, I wouldn't be doing this whole video. Now before you get mad at me for ruining ice cream and mac and cheese, cookies and cereal and milk, pizza, your Starbucks drinks, just hear me out. All I want is for you to have beautiful skin and to be happy and healthy. So I'm doing this from a place of love, okay? <laughs> now let's rewind to the beginning, right? Where does milk come from? That sounds like a kindergarten question. Obviously milk comes from cows. But think about it, they're producing milk. So where does milk come from? Milk comes from pregnant cows. Now besides all the really gross stuff they pump into cows and milk to keep them fat and plump and keep the dairy industry going, cow milk, human milk, goat milk, elephant milk is all going to contain one very specific thing. All milk is going to contain hormones because hormones are what run our bodies. Hormones control growth and reproduction in almost every single aspect of the bodies of mammals. milk is designed to grow a baby cow into a big cow. Dope for the cows, not so dope for humans. The natural hormones from pregnant cows causes overgrowth and inflammation in the body. This can lead to um, cancer, eczema, asthma, arthritis, diabetes, lupus, and of course acne, which is where I come in. Now the next thing that milk contains besides hormones is sugar. The sugar in cow's milk is called lactose. Some people are lactose intolerant because that sugar is very hard for the body to process and a lot of people are allergic to it. And even if you're not allergic to it and your body can process it, you find that when you eat high amounts of dairy, you feel bloated, you feel slow, eczema flares up, or you get a few pimples the day after. Now regardless of whether you do or don't digest lactose properly, drinking milk will spike your blood sugar regardless, promoting the production of both insulin and IGF or the insulin growth factor 1, both of which are hormones. Studies have shown specifically IGF-1 increases sebum production, increases the severity of acne, and increases pore size, which is really just a play off of sebum production, because if your pores are constantly producing oil, they're going to be larger, which only makes sense because you are what you eat. The biggest correlation that researchers and dermatologists for sure agree upon is there's a large correlation between the glycemic index of dairy and other foods. The glycemic index is a ranking of carbohydrate rich foods based on their potential to increase blood sugar. Foods with high glycemic indexes raise blood sugar much faster than foods with low glycemic indexes. Kind of self-explanatory. Other foods that contain high glycemic indexes are like white bread, white potatoes, anything fried. I've linked a list below from the Harvard Medical School School on a list of common ingredients in their glycemic indexes so you can check it out. I haven't really been announcing it in the rest of my videos but I'm doing it now that all the information that I ever really talk about that I list, the studies, the links to them are always going to be down in the description box because if you're nosy and nerdy like I am you're going to want to know um, more about this information where it's coming. From. So you know that I'm not just feeding you bull. My mom watches my videos and she gets mad at me for swearing. I'm trying, mom. Don't yell at me. Now, if all of that wasn't bad enough, dairy products contain a protein called casein. I'm looking up how to pronounce that properly because I always get it wrong. I pronounce a lot of words in my videos wrong. Do you notice? It, piss it makes me so mad. So let me get this right. Casein. It's casein. And they found casein to be addicting. I hope I didn't ruin your favorite foods for you. Okay, I'm lying. So I kind of do hope I ruin my favorite foods for you. Because you need to find your favorite foods if those are some of them. Favorite foods that are going to keep you healthy and not bloated and um, free of acne and very beautiful. So... Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> this is the golden prescription. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the bomb. My Twitter and Instagram handles are always down at the bottom so you can talk to me or check out. I post additional little video clips um, on both my Twitter and my um, Instagram that don't really get put on YouTube because they're just short little blurbs. And I spend my most time on Twitter. Too much time on Twitter. So that's the easiest way to talk to me and contact me and ask me questions and things. I'm hugging you in my mind and in my heart. 
Okay, so now I'm stalling. Thanks so much. I love you. Um, subscribe, like, follow me on things. And if it doesn't feed you, don't water it. It just means if it doesn't bring you life and joy and contribute to your growth, don't give it your energy, don't grow it. Okay, that's it. Mm -hmm.